uh, secure without the security of one side threatening the security of the other side. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Michael. That was uh, very, very comprehensive and I thought very um, uh, clear presentation of the issues. Now, Professor Panama. I hope it wasn't too long. No, it certainly wasn't. Tom, I, I usually use a PowerPoint presentation, but I'll have to rely on my oratory skills. Um, as Lord Hane told you, um, he's often quoted for saying, and I actually have it here in my presentation, that no one has ever yet lost money betting against the settlement in Cyprus. Um, of course, never say never. Um, in 2016, no one could have anticipated that, well, Paul didn't predict Brexit. No one predicted Trump. And Leicester City, right? <laughs> no company made a lot of money on that. But here's the thing, Cyprus' problem is very durable, right? Despite all of the sea of change, Cyprus' problem remains unsolved as of 2016. And now, we're here in 2017. You may recall that 2016 was considered to be a virtual deadline. Uh, in the settlement, and from time to time, you may have heard, uh, especially on the Turkish side, calls for the end game, calls for the process to have a deadline, and we never seem to reach that deadline. Uh, the most recent summit uh, in Geneva last month was also sort of meant, uh, meant to be a deadline, and of course that has also lapsed. Um, I will respond to some of the things my colleague has said a few moments ago, uh, but why don't I give you my own presentation first? Uh, my presentation is meant to be very contemporary. In other words, I'm not going to discuss the origins of the Cyprus problem, but, some of the, but I should respond uh, to some of the philosophical points raised, and I will. Uh, so let me give you my, my short primer on, on Cyprus. It is a protracted, frozen conflict, and here is the key point. The one thing we agree on is the negotiation framework. What are we seeking? And I should be really careful here, because we are seeking a bisonal, bicommunal federation, which is a power-sharing federation. Um, we're not seeking a democracy. We're not seeking stability or many of the other things you heard. We're seeking a bi-zonal, bi federation. Now, there are competing values. Some of those values may be that the system should be as democratic as possible, that the system should be respectful of human rights. Moreover, since the accession of the Republic of Cyprus to the EU, the, 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 the settlement should also be in line with the European Union law, the acquis communautaire. So for all of these reasons, there are competing values. But at the end of the day, we need to understand that the framework of negotiation is by zonality, that is, two territories, and there are definitions of that, which affect how we treat property and territory as